All right, what is up? We are going to Excuse me take a drink of water real quick there All right, so what we're gonna do right now is Head on down to the southern wilds and beat Caldeus. This will allow us to train Alumon for his third First power here if I go down to if I go down to Alumon's combat abilities you can see his third burst there is locked it is the last one I need to unlock in order to get the achievement for having them all unlocked to the third level <clears throat> now I looked up on the old uh, webernets here what I needed to do and it told me um, this is through neoseeker.com uh, there's a little note here for Alumon, what you have to do is get the Caldeus Skull from the Dungeon of Deadwatch. And uh, we've already done that. That was way earlier in the game. I've been carrying this thing around for a while. It should be in your quest items if you have it. It'll look like that. What we're going to do is go down to the Southern Wilds into the tomb of Chaldeus it's at the eastern end of the southern wilds I'm bringing Alumon with me I normally have Gully in his place so we're heading to the southern wilds and we're gonna go east Oh, I guess we gotta have a quick battle here. This should just take a second. So what we gotta do is summon Caldeus with this will add a, uh, be good for experience for Alumon, him, uh, Nolan, and uh, Red Monica are both are all three pretty low so he'll get uh, some good level ups through here unlocking some better perks and stuff uh, all right we're heading east I believe we will probably have another fight we're, we're having to fight these because Alumon's level is so low the other guys are level 30 but uh, these are kind of laughable compared to the amount of damage I can do with my other two characters. So once we summon and defeat Caldeus, we will need to go back to the bestiary and oh that was adorable. Oh you mount a little attack there. Once we talk to her, um, we'll ask her to train. And it should unlock that ability and with it the achievement. At that point, I'll stop the stream for a minute and then uh, start restreaming uh, as we continue. I think what we'll do next is go after the max arena achievement. Now that all my guys are level 30, uh, we can try to get that one next. But right now, we're heading to the tomb of Caldeus. Here we are. We should be heading to the northern end of the area. I will generally use Gully when I'm running around out here because of her stun ability and her nimbleness. She's small and easily maneuverable. We'll keep heading north here with Garrison. And somewhere in here, I believe, is where we need to be. <clears throat> I'll imagine it's this gigantic altar. Offer Caldeus a skull. This shrine appears to be dedicated to the dead Lord Caldeus. An inscription reads, What can one offer the Lord of nothing? How about his own head? As you place the skull down, you get the uncanny feeling someone is looking over your shoulder. Something comes over you and you lose control of your senses. Hey, 
history has not forgot. Something's going on here. The death and lies thou hast wrought. It's a poem. And now the dead again shall rise. Lord Chaldeus, your time is nigh. Rise nigh. Eh. I don't know. Either way, we're going to whoop his ass. Don't say ass, kids. It's butt. We're going to whoop his butt. He has 6,000. This is going to be pretty quick and easy here. Look at that. He's gone invisible. Now, there are ways to hit him, I think, while he's invisible. In, excuse me, invisible. Like this one, for example. That'll be after he acts. See if we got a quicker one. If you look over there at the left, you'll see me moving up and down the board based on how quick I can act. If you do something that hits all enemies, it will get them regardless. There's no good reason for me to using uh, to use abilities at this point. I'd rather save their mana for later on down the road, but I can't always stop and rest, and that will refill the mana and the hit points for me. Well, that was easy. Some experience points. A nice little chunk for Alumon there. Our loot. Caldeus Twin Ambushers and Heart of Caldeus. And now all we need to do is go talk. Let's see if these do anything for us here. The Beastmaster and a uh, crappy gun to sell. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. As we wind on down the road, our shadows taller than our souls. If you are not familiar with this game and you enjoy turn-based strategy RPG type of games, I highly recommend it. I've had a lot of fun with it. I'm looking forward to running through New Game Plus. Loop. More loot. Let's head on back to Harm's Way. We'll talk to our buddy over here at the Altered Bestiary. Hello. So you've done it, and with proof of the deed, I had help. Your true combat prowess is now unlocked. Do not hesitate. Don't worry, that's not how I yes. work. I can tell this is going to waste my time. Damn. Careful out there. Alright. So, let's take a look here. Yeah, that should be everybody. I believe Stay Gully well. has hers unlocked. Let's double check. Hello. There we go. 9.71% the rare achievement. 
mass ruckus. We're 78 on trueachievements.com. If you don't get over there and you like achievements, I highly Tell recommend it. Friends. All right, looks like we got our regular party back in place here. And the next thing we're going to do is try to run through the battle arena. Uh, we're going to stop this one and start a new one up.